Could having your own internet talk show build credibility? Hey, Chris, here we are again. We're uh, in the midst of our four-part series here, introducing people to the expert showcase and the concept of the value of building your own internet talk show. Uh, we're talking about credibility today. So tell me a little bit about that. Exactly. Well, some of you watching this right now might already have some level of credibility, but I think we all could admit that... I hope so. <laughs> exactly. But I think we all could admit that your credibility could be greater, or you could increase your credibility with your ideal client. And having an internet talk show is the best way to build an enhanced level of credibility for any coach or consultant. Absolutely. You know, let's put it this way. Well, actually... Let's just move to the three bullet points that we're going to cover here. I'm getting ahead of my, I'm so eager, Chris. I'm so eager to get ahead. We always have three takeaways, so let me stay true to that. What are the three takeaways for today? Exactly. Well, the first one is you demonstrate understanding of your topic, of your knowledge, of your subject matter. Uh, then you develop valuable solutions. Because let's face it, we have to give, 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 give until it hurts, as we heard from episode number one. And it's got to be immense value, as we also heard in episode number one. And then finally, you have to teach those solutions. And what better way to teach the solutions than have your own internet talk show where it's more of a conversation than it is a lecture? Absolutely. Great. So we're going to go into those three bullet points. Let's take it from the top. Demonstrate understanding of core problem areas is, is one of our favorite topics, I know. Um, you know, and what I was going to say when I was so rudely interrupted by myself <laughs> was, you know, with why are we talking about credibility? We, you know, we all know that we have credibility and integrity. The point is that our audience doesn't know it yet. And so it's about helping them feel it. Because let's face it, what's credibility? It's, it's do I believe you? Do I believe in, in what you're talking about? And creating episodes like this is part of creating layers of content that help people feel the credibility, right? Exactly, exactly. And the interesting part is that even for, uh, let me give you a quick, I'll say real terrestrial television example. Um, you know, you, you look at maybe even a show that, you know, is this popular kind of some circles called Ancient Aliens. You know, you look at a show like that and the people on that show, while if you met them in real life and you don't believe in their theories, wouldn't have any credibility. First, by being on the show, they have credibility because they've been on, they're on a television show. Secondly, they're getting a chance to, as we talk about here, demonstrate their understanding. So they're demonstrating their understanding of a particular subject matter. So what they're doing is, is for the community, for the community of, of people who, you know, believe they're demonstrating that they are the, you know, the ones that have the understanding of that particular subject. And the interesting part was, to follow that through, one of the people had demonstrated enough understanding of the topic that he got his own show based on it. So it's, you know, whether it's to an ideal client or whether it's um, like we do with Expert Showcase where we show you how to, you know, come on, you know, take a, a, a free test drive with us and then, you know, you talk about possibly getting your own internet talk show. First, you demonstrate your understanding, and that's what gets your ideal clients and potential other clients and potential other income opportunities to kind of peek their head up a little bit and say, hmm, and this is, uh, start scratching and go, somebody I might want to listen to. Well, and this is the beautiful thing for you as a coach and consultant is that your entire work is about helping people solve their problems, helping them enhance their lives and or enhance their businesses, depending what kind of coaching or consulting you're in, right? So this is all about knowing your audience's core problem areas and that's why we focus on coaches and consultants in in this entire conversation because you're perfectly suited to do this kind of work and create content in this talk show format because you get to teach people that you understand their core problems and that you actually have solutions to them you show that what else could build better credibility than demonstrating that i get your problems i feel your pain and I've actually got a solution for it. So that's the power of doing this for you as a coach or a consultant. Exactly. And one more thing I want to say before, before we kind of wrap this up and went on to the next point would be the fact that when you demonstrate understanding, you increase your resonance with your ideal client. So in other words, when you demonstrate you understand the problems they're going through, when you demonstrate you understand the, the solutions to the challenges that they're going through, they begin to resonate with you. 
They begin to connect with you. Notice how I say begin because, let's face it, this is all a process. This takes people down a path to eventually becoming an ideal client. So by being on the Expert Showcase or having your own internet talk show, what you end up doing is you begin to display that understanding to people who you've never touched before and they have never come in contact with you before. So I wanted to stress that really quick because some people say, wait a minute, I already display, I understand these things, everybody I talk to. We gotta remember, these. you're just, you're demonstrating your understanding to people you've never come in contact with, at least at the beginning, right. and people who might at some point down the road become your, you know, your, your clients. So it's key here to demonstrate it so they can resonate with you. And, and you, you make a great point, and I'm going to just going to refer people back to the first episode in this four-part series uh, because it's all about visibility, and that's the whole thing, reaching people that don't know you yet by creating an ongoing steady stream of content. You're putting it out there all over the web and letting it disseminate, which gives you that visibility. Here, you're trying to get that credibility. You know, do, do I... You're answering the question, do I understand your pain? So bullet point number one is really do you can you create content around these core problem areas so that you're demonstrating to your ideal client, yep, I do understand your pain. I understand the problems that you have. And that's a great segue then for us, Chris, to move on to bullet point number two, which you said is going to be develop valuable solutions. Okay, so if we've hit the nail on the head that you've identified the right problem for your ideal client, great. Now you're going to show that you've actually got answers for them, right? Yeah, exactly. And the interesting part here is I want you all to focus on the word valuable for a second. Everybody mm -hmm. has a different. Well, here's why. Everybody has. No, it's a, a great point. It's a great point. That's well, why I'm smiling. Yeah, ex exactly. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> the Everybody has a different level of value that they assign to two things. So when we say valuable solutions, I'm not saying you have to solve a million dollar problem for your client unless your clients are millionaires and billionaires. If you're, go, if, you're, if you're looking for clients who are millionaires, tens of millionaires, if you're looking for Mark Cuban, if you're looking for Robert Hershevec, if you're looking for, you know, if you're, if, if you're looking for somebody else on the, on the Shark Tank, um, who, who, who's my favorite host on the Shark Tank, Mark? Come on. I, I, I don't know, Laurie Lori Grenier. There you go, Laurie Grenier. Yeah. If you're looking for the queen of QVC, Laurie Grenier, hi, Laurie, just, you know, get, <laughs> contact us sometime. Um, <laughs> But the point is, if you're looking for them, then you have to solve million dollar or tens of millions of dollar problems. They're not going to connect with you if you solve a $10 problem. However, mm -hmm. if your clients that you're looking for and if it's a service you're providing is a $10 an hour, $15 an hour, $20 an hour service, then you solve $10, $15, $20 uh, problems or greater, and then you will be seen as achieving and, and is delivering a valuable solution. So, Mark, do you see where I'm going there with the, with the value? I absolutely do. Because and, and the point is, you know, the value comes from the pain that your client is experiencing. I, I can tell you, at the moment that I'm using like a screwdriver and the handle breaks off, the person who can hand me another screwdriver is incredibly valuable to me in that moment. It's not about the value of the screwdriver. It's that I was in the middle of doing something that was important to me, and I got a problem. And if you are the person that pops up in the internet search that says, who can deliver me a screwdriver in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to see enormous value in your product. So we know that you as a coach or consultant, that's all you do is uh, is target an ideal client and, and provide a valuable solution to their problem. And you understand full well that the value comes from their problem, not what I, what I put on the value of my time. You know, that's a piece of the equation but I can only charge my fee based on the value that the client is experiencing based on their pain or their problem, right? So, And one more thing here real quick and before we, before we wrap on this one, it's yep. perceived value. It's the client's, you, what you just said really goes to client's perceived value. Value. We should we should coin that. It should be a new term. The CPV, client perceived value. <laughs> In the end, that's the key, though, because remember, perception is reality. So if the client perceives the solution as being valuable enough, then you've delivered a valuable solution. You know, right mm -hmm. now, I'm going to give you a great example. Right now, you might be sitting watching this, going, "These guys are giving great value. Didn't know this before, and this is valued at you know a thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars. Wonderful." 
you might be more experienced in an internet talk show. You might be more experienced in doing this stuff online. And you might not see as much value right now in what we're telling because you're already doing it. It doesn't mean the solution is not valuable. It doesn't mean it's not doesn't have immense value for someone. It just means that for you right now it might not be might Absolutely. not be resonating. Great point. I mean, to go back to my silly example, if my screwdriver isn't broken, I have no interest in a screwdriver sales pitch because I don't need it. It's not that the screwdriver is not valuable, it's that I don't need it. So no one's ever going to value your service if they don't need it. That's fine. You're trying to connect with the people who do. And that, again, is the power of showing up on a regular basis through this format of having a talk show and you know solving problems. And let's get to the, the real piece of credibility, which comes up with your, your third bullet point, Chris, which is that you have to actually be able to teach that solution. It's not just give me a high level, airy fairy kind of theory about stuff. Your value is in actually helping me solve something. And can you give it to me in a step by step way? Because if I can do it and it solves my problem, boy, do you have credibility for a bigger problem that I actually need to come to you to solve. Exactly. So everybody understands what Teach Those Solutions is all about. So let me give you the roadblock and the reason why most people don't teach the solutions because they're afraid that by teaching the solutions they're going to lose an ideal client. Let me dispel that myth for you right now. There's three types of people in the world. There's type number one that you're going to teach everything to. They're going to learn everything. They're going to go do everything on their own and they're never going to become your, your client, ideal or not. There's type number mm -hmm. two where you're going to teach them everything you know. They're not going to stand a word you say because they don't resonate with you or the message and they're never going to become your ideal client. Then there's type number three. And type number three are the people that you will teach everything you know, will resonate with you, will know that you have the answer to their problem, will try it on their own, and when they struggle, will look to you for help. The beautiful part for you as a coach and consultant, that is 80 to 90 percent of the world. The people... Well, and it's, it's even better than that, Chris, right? Because the thing is, you're speaking to that, that population there, and you can teach everything you know about this subject, but you can only teach it at a certain level because I don't know the individual nuance of the person's situation and I get to now invite them to the next step to say, great, I've given you all this great value and all this great content. Do you want to, do you want to have a conversation about how to actually apply it to your unique circumstance? And that's the bridge. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. So as I said in the last segment, module one, and, and there will be more <laughs> modules coming, three and four, stay tuned. Since I can't say it any better myself, I guess I won't. <laughs> All right. I, I stole your thunder. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. So anyway, That's great time okay. to wrap, wrap us up or we'll go on for another 10 hours here. So we've been talking about, again, Chris asked you a question at the very opening of this segment. He said, would having your own talk show, would creating content week after week in that format help you build credibility? I'm hoping it's obvious that the answer to that is, yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and that we covered that with the three bullet points. You're going to demonstrate that you understand your ideal client's core problems. You're going to develop valuable solutions in that content and you're going to deliver it in teaching segments that show people step by step how to really take action and start solving those problems. You're going to give them some they can solve 100% on their own. That builds credibility. And you're going to teach some that they really need help translating to their personal unique circumstance. And that's where your call to action comes. And guess what? I'm going to give you a call to action. <laughs> I'm going to Woo! practice what we preach here, Chris. So. We want people to have the experience because you may not know how to set up your own talk show. You may think that's overwhelming. Simple solution. We want to invite you to actually apply to potentially be our next guest expert on our show, the, the Expert Showcase. That's our show. We want to show you what it's like to be a guest, but the show is also all about continuing to have this conversation about the value of creating content that way. What do you got to do? You got to come over to expertshowcase.com, check out the content there, but the most important thing is there's a button there. The button says apply. So you just click on the button that says apply. There's a quick little application because, hey, we want to make sure that you're a good fit for the show. There's no point in you being on the show if it's not going to create a piece of valuable content for you. And that's what I have to tell you as our final statement here is there's no 
charge, this is not a service, this is how we create content for Expert Showcase. So come on over, be a guest on the show, and we've got a lot of thank you gifts to give you, including that we will actually give you the full segment that you can take the file, use it to promote yourself, and we'll also give you a free coaching session to give you some tips, strategies on how you can use your segment to promote your business as effectively as possible. So come on over to expertshowcase.com right now and apply. And, and until next time, uh, what, what he just said. Nah, what he just said. And we'll see you on the inside.